Hi there. So in this lecture, we're going to be going through on how to create lectures on who he is. So um, there are a couple of things you need to take into consideration. You must have a username. You must have a password. You must be uh, a teacher or a lecturer in a school or an administrator of a school or university admin person or uh, personnel rather. So um, what you need to do first is to go to login. When you get to login, um, is that I login as a normal school owner or, or teacher or a lecturer or I login as a lecturer. So let me log in using this. So I'm already in. I'm in OES right now. So the next place I need to go to is, is that I click on this create notes. You can see the create note or I come over here. This is good for the mobile. Uh, I slide this out and I click on this. This slides out or I click on this uh, three dots on each other and I go to teacher teaching management or teaching management. All this uh, button, the button I showed you in the earlier home is going to lead to the same place. So you can see that you can create an assignment, you can create a test, you can create an exam, you can view the scheme of work or the, the lecture you've created. So uh, these are the things you can do here. You can um, you can create a lecture. There are all these interface, all these are uh, form. The form you're looking at here is to create a is to create a lecture, and this is the uh, data analytics on the form. Who is creating what? How many teachers contributed in your in your school or in your in your organization that has created an asset, which is like a lecture? And these are the reports. This is the report. Anytime you create a lecture, this is where you see uh, the report. These are assets to a particular school, so you can see. So you can see that this school has already created a lot of lectures, you know, and which their students can actually look at, I mean, and view and study. Uh, so any particular time they want to have a lecture, you can see the particular class. So I'm going to be showing you through how to do all this right now. So let's go ahead. Um, so let me go back to the form. Right here, if you are in a particular class, you can see the class in which I am. That is why you are seeing that on top of this. You can pick a particular class and pick all their scheme of work for that particular uh, class, you know. And let me take uh, something on um, uh, sets, complement of sets. This is mathematics. This is mathematics, and uh, you know, whenever you see this code like this, that's true. That means the second time or second semester, you know, that's what it means. Uh, so, um, all these are all form. This is also in two. You select, let what you have here be the same thing that what is, I mean, as compared to what is here, and let this be in the same, uh, the same class as compared to what you have at this left hand side so now because i have chosen complement of sets with subject i let me look for a video you don't have to put a video there but this video enables your students able to understand what they are learning very well so you have a video that you have seen or the video that you have created like the one i'm doing now and you think you want them to know the first thing if you created if you have created a video by by yourself that means you need to put uh, the you need to go and you need to upload it into YouTube first because our system works with the YouTube automatically. So what I'll do is um, I don't have a video, but I can always go and search for a video complement of sets, uh, complement complement of sets in uh, in maths for SS. S2 and CSS2. So this is going to bring out. I can as well check the video for that. Okay, so this is giving me a video, but I would prefer a YouTube video. 
so that it can make a lot of things easier for me for for um, integrating with our system let me check this system. let me check this particular video so to use for this um, lecture that we are having okay so I can you can see that <clears throat> there are resources on the internet that you can adopt so uh, what I just want to look for is does it have a YouTube <clears throat> is it a YouTube video if it's a YouTube video it makes things easier for me but no it's not it's not can we adopt this um, yeah it is it is a YouTube video so I cannot come here what you're doing by using a YouTube video it would have been better for you to create your own video that will allow, that will allow you so I'm posting it. So that will allow you to earn. All these people you are using their video, they are going to be earning on you. So I would have advised that you create a video before going for this, before uh, creating your lecture. So let me move this forward. Let me go to the YouTube. Watch this. You are copying something out of this YouTube video. Uh, and that is going to be um, written out here. So let's get on the video. Uh, so, uh, okay, great. This is coming up. I I just need, I just need the, the ID of that video, on the YouTube. I just need the ID of the video on YouTube to be a sink of curly brackets and the objects okay. within these brackets are called so, the elements of the set the elements in so a set we've do not the, need to be in any order we, we've gotten we the video that will we typically see for. numerical so what we need to copy out you can see this v is equals to nx blah 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 so what you just need to to the place when it gets to a percent and percent or and so i just need to copy this out this is your ID. That is the ID you are looking for. No, this is the ID you're looking for. So once you get this ID, you just need to copy the ID out, come back to this place. That's all we need. You put it here. You see, video URL link for YouTube. This is the ID we are looking for. So when we get the ID, we can now say, uh, what's the intro, what's the notes, that, what's the objective of this lecture? Uh, the objective lesson is to know more about complement. Of sex. In short, in, in a short word, in short, to know more about sex theory. Just stop. Now, do we have a note? We can create notes. We can easily create notes. And we can make it more finalized. We can change it. We can update it. Uh, I, I will advise, but I'm going to use it. I'm just going to use uh, a, a an example based on what we have seen already. I can come over here. We can read about these notes. A set can be a set of collection of objects. You know, we can copy it. Work on it, create a Word document. We create a Word document and let me create a Word document here. New document. Okay, great. Uh, we can topic. Complement of 
of sets. Yes, sometimes you might need to use a uh, cube root and also in creating objects, read it, study it, practice it, and uh, use an AI tool and also work on the words so that it can be good for your student, for your students, and uh, so that they can really understand it. But I, I, I will not support you adopting or creating things or, or copying information directly from online. You must be able to work on it, you know. Okay, so let's see. We have been able to create this objective. We've been able to create this note. And you can decide to put your logo at the left hand side. The logo at the left hand side of the of the uh, of your notes. Now you can do that by just going to insert. Okay, so we are done with the notes we are creating. Can you see how formalized it is? So you can do all the corrections. Uh, you can do all the correction, and we have a note. So what we need to do after we've gotten the note, we save the note onto the system. Save us. I have a low battery. Okay. Set slowly. Okay. I save. So we'll go back to our we go back to our lecture. Go back to our lecture. You can either turn that note to a PDF. Or you make it you make use of it in word so um, what let, let's leave it like that so you can upload the load now come over here I save it in the TC okay company okay Sexually and open bingo. So we've done that. Is it a normal class? Yes, it is a normal class. It's not a laboratory. We have we are making use of our augmented reality or virtual reality or mixed reality for classrooms. That's when we select the lab, but you don't have to do that. So uh is this a first set of that kind of class? Is it a first set of our, of that kind of class? Is it the one that is starting, you're starting a series and you just want to use it at the first and you want it to be uh, announced announced uh, at the EL Online Educational Resource Center, I mean uh, area, you might have to pay it. You want Educational Resource Group lead lecture, you can pick this. But if it's not, if it's just an addendum to the lecture you've already created, you can pick the other one. But I'm going to make it a lead lecture so you see the reason how much you want to put on it okay how much you want to put on it uh let me say for anybody that wants to study this lecture i want it to be three thousand naira only uh, or close to that so you are expected that by the end of this lecture there's going to be a certificate for this and this can also be used in your school you can be creating a lecture for your school if you are using only yes in reaching out you can be creating a lecture for your school as well as uh, also making additional money on it. And this is how teachers can earn for life on it. So you can also make it, you want to make it private. But if it's public, that means it's just going to be meant for your school. But if it's private, I mean, if it's public, it's going to be meant for your school and for your for edu online educational resource. Or if it's only meant for your school, it's going to stay in your school, and that means it's, it's private. So I need you to take note of that. What time are you? You're in second term. We're in semester two. Uh, because I'm actually addressing, uh, uh, I'm addressing uh, what we call uh, uh, SS, SS student now. We used term, so it's second term. So I'm going to submit. Once I submit, you see, I've already submitted. 
you see it below here you see it so i have already created the lecture can you see it there for ss2 now because i make it a public i'm going to log out now i've created a lecture and that is all for now because i make it a public uh lecture i'm also going to see it on my el i'm going to see it on the el uh for er for oes so let's go to the er for oes um er 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 is educational resource link so once i get here can you see i'm already in er i can now go to secondary school but if it's for university you create a university uh or session it, you'll be fi you find it on that you find it on that university session. So if I click on this, I'm going to see the notes already created. I mean, the lecture already waiting for us. So this is that. We have it. This is that. Can you see it there? That's the way to create lecture. Now, if you want to, you can sign on this. If you can pay, if you're just coming, if you're not part of any school, you can just sign on on this and um, it will take you to the class. But you must have paid a fee because you are not part of any school. But if you don't want to do that, if you're a part of a school, all what you just have to do is you need to go straight to our normal, uh, what's it called? Our normal OES uh, login interface, which is this. And I'm going to log in as a school. The same school, the same person that created this, the lecture, you're gonna, it's gonna find the lecture inside the school for students. So, I'm logging in. So, I've logged in. I'm under. I'm a student here of SS, SS two. You can see. I'm a student of SS2 here, so I think I should be able to, if this class is the same class of the, for the video I created, let me check. Uh, oh, this is SS1, so I'm not going to find it there. I'm not going to find it there. But, um, okay, 